Hi everyone. In this video, let me show you the solution to the 2021 AMC 10A number 12 or 12A number 10. 10, 12, 12, 10. Interesting. Two right circular cones with vertices facing down as shown in the figure below contain the same amount of liquid. The radii of the tops of the liquid surfaces are three and six. Into each cone is dropped a spherical marble of radius one centimeters, which sinks into the bottom and is completely submerged without spilling any liquid. What's the ratio of the liquid level, the narrow cone, that's the horizon, and the liquid level in the wide cone? So basically, you're, basically when you put something, let's just take a look at any generic cone. Before we take a look at that, let's take a look at our two current cones. The information we're given that the volumes are equal, the volumes of the gray area. So if the volumes are equal, what do we know? Well, let's say the height of this cone is h. Then the volume of the cone to the right is just going to be equal to 1 third times 6 squared pi times h, which is just going to be equal to 12 pi h, right? And then that same volume has to also be true of the left cone. And then we see that that's going to be 1 third times 9 pi, 3 squared times 9 pi, which is 9 pi, times what we don't know, times something. So let's just say times h2. It's going to also have to be equal to 12 pi h, right? Because they have to have the same volume. And then what we can do is we can cancel out, see that we cancel from here, we get 4h is equal to h2. So this h2 is actually just going to be 4h. From here, what do we do? So now let's look at the condition of we're dropping some spherical marble into this. So when we drop something, if you ever, like, imagine if you have a glass and then you drop something, some object into it, what's going to happen? The water level is going to rise. So in this case, we have a cone. We're drop. let's say we have a cone. And then let's say it's filled till here. Let's say it's originally filled till only the red line. And then we drop something in it that's causing more volume to come to the top. So we're causing, the, let's say, the water level to rise till here, maybe. Right? So we're just causing the water level to rise. So let's say the radius of this is r. And the, and the, let's use different variables, actually. Let's say this is big r and then say big, big h. So we see that when we, when we make that water level rise, we're causing this new height, let's say h, big h2, we see that the new height, the proportion of the new height, h2 to r2, will have to equal the proportion of the original height because by similar triangles. Because we know that by similar triangles, these two, these two sides are parallel, so the triangles are similar. These two triangles are similar. And this one. So since the two triangles are similar, we know these ratios have to be true. And from here, we can see that the rise in the height, we can see that the right, the height, will rise from h to h2. So the height will rise, but if the original height is h, the new height will now be h2 minus h, right? And we know that h2 is just equal to the ratio of the radiuses, so the height will increase by some factor, k, let's say. So let's just say that the height increases by some factor k. So that means that, let's say that h2 is equal to k times the height h, right? So if the height is increasing by a factor of h, what does that tell us? Well, that means the increase in the height, h2 minus h, like I was writing earlier, is just going to be equal to k minus 1 times h. Because h2 is k times h, and h is 1 times h. So we subtract them, we get k minus 1 times h. So the difference in height is going to be some constant times the height. So basically, you're saying that, what I'm saying is that by increasing the height, the increase in the height is going to be proportional to the original height. So in this case, we have the original height being 4h. So the increase in height is going to be proportional to 4h. And it's going to be the same proportional to 4h as the increase in height is to h. So let's say it increases to some factor. It's going to be, the increase is going to be 4 times bigger since the original height is 4 times bigger. So therefore, the increase is just going to have a ratio of 4 to 1. And that's the answer. And this is actually a really trolly problem on the contest because many people got confused with the intuitiveness of this actually of the problem. So the key thing to remember here is that be, be very careful that the ratios of your radiuses and heights are the same by similar triangles. We discussed this technique back in the AMC math count class, if you remember. So we discussed that the ratio of the radius to the height is going to be the same when we, increase the, when we increase the volume by the same factor. Because you cannot increase the height by a larger factor than the radius can. So that was the key thing to notice here. From there, it should be intuitively obvious that it's going to be four times bigger since the original height is four times bigger. That was the key idea for the problem. Thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you all next time.